What do you put on behind these jigs when you're flipping and pitching and casting them? Well, we've got a few options and these options are dynamite. These rage chunks, without a doubt, are my number one choice. For a football jig, that goes on behind my bait. For my regular Premier Pro model, that goes on behind my bait if the water's warm. You can see how nice it fits right there. It's got the proper length to where you don't have to cut it off or do anything. You just slide it on and you got the perfect trailer right there. But the Rage Chunk has got so much action, do not rely on it in cold water. And by cold water, anytime I get out there and the water temperature is 60 degrees or colder, I do not want to use this as a trailer. I want to use something like the KVD Perfect Plastic Chunk because it has no action as the bait's falling. And when it does hit the bottom, the legs will just kind of stand up and teeter a little bit. Very subtle action, and that's what you want in the cold water. So that's a great, great trailer. The other trailer that a lot of people take for granted is, is the Rodent. This is a bait that also has a subtle action that you can thread on when you want to give more bulk to the bait and give it a totally different action. And of course, we've got it in two different sizes. And the three inch road works very, very well with some of the finesse jigs like the Bitsy Flip to give it that small, small profile. And then if you want to gear up and give your jig, obviously, a bigger profile, you can use the regular Rage Crawl, or we also make this in something called the Rage Lobster. And when I get to those big fish lakes like Lake Amistad, Lake Falcon, and Lake Toho, I'm going to go with the lobster rather than the regular crawl because it is such a big profile and it'll get you some of those added big fish strikes. So kind of match your trailer up not only to the, the situation that you're in with your jig and the cover you're penetrating, but also pay attention to the water temperature. And for me, color plays a very, very important role. So if there's a reason for me to use black and blue, I'm going to have something that matches that jig. Either blue, bright blue, one of those type trailers that match up. So I'm not a big person as far as contrasting colors. In other words, I don't want a black jig with a brown chunk or anything like that that's cut in half color wise. So I want it all uniform and that's why we make this stuff in so many different colors to match the situation. And I think you try some of our trailers on your jigs, you'll be very, very impressed with them.